Hello and a happy new year to all of you. Today I'm going to show you how I made these uh, animal faces brooch pins and they're super cute. Hope you had a nice Christmas and wish you all a very happy new year. So I'm just taking some needle wool and I'm going to make it into a circle that's going to be the base of the brooch pin. And uh, I've made many and I think they have to be quite 3D and they don't look nice if they're flat. So I'm shaping the face of the bunny and I've given it shape from the bottom end. I'm trying to shape the mouth of the bunny so I've with my needle. I've made a little dent and that's going to be the mouth and then I've attached more wool on the forehead and as you can see that is now quite prominent where the forehead is going to be and where the eye sockets are and you can add more wool to make it 3D so just building up on the circle that I had felt it. The cat face is a bit similar but it's not as pointy as the bunnies. Here I'm rolling some wool between my fingers and I'm going to place them on the face and shape the nose. So it's rather small so you have to start with a really tiny bit and then shape it with the needle. As you can see, I'm shaping the edges first. And then I'm going to merge it into the wool that comes down from the forehead. So in this video, it's uh, the basic shape of the bunny and the coloring plus the coloring of uh, the cat face. I'm just pinching the nose so it's a bit protruding. Keep shaping it with the needle. And uh, the better you shape the face in the core wall, the better the brooch pin is going to look when it's done. So I'm making a really firm shape before I add the colored wool on top. I'm adding a little more wool and shaping it. Just as I did before. So I'm going to go on until I'm really happy with the shape. With the nose done, I'm going to add more wool to the cheek area. And as you can see, if you take a little wool at a time, it's easier to build up the shape. So you have to start small in every bit that you do. Because you can't take off wool, but you can add more. So now I'm shaping the cheeks. I'm going to do the same on the other side, so I get the two equal shapes on both sides. I 
I'm going to neaten up the shape now with my multi tool. Now I'm going to take really small shreds of wool and shape the eyes. Now the eyes are going to be closed but we have to shape the eyelids so they look like they're closed. And you have to use your fingers in shaping everything that you do. So I've just pinched the little wool and forming the eyelids. Now adding a little piece of wool that's going to form the mouth just underneath the nose. So I think the other one had a bigger forehead so I'm going to add more wool on the forehead because they look cuter with larger heads so you can shape them as you want. I'm taking a darker colored wool and I've got a dark brown and I'm just felting it beneath the nose so just defining the nose with a very small shred and a very thin line for the eyes so now you can see where I had made the eyelids I have put the wool underneath that now I'm going to color the bunny. You can use any color you want and add as many shades as you want. So I'm using a little darker over the nose and lighter brown over the forehead. And I'm going to put, add more as I go down. And then extra bits on the cheeks. You have to keep shaping the nose and the cheeks as you keep filling it up. I'm adding some shades around the eyes. Now I'm going to make the ears and just roughly the equal amount of wool. If you touch the wool, you'll know how thick you want the ears to be. So they have to be equal, both the sides. Just folded them. And I want smaller ears. I always tend to make them bigger. I'm adding some pink wool in the center. I just folded both the ends inside to give it a shape of the bunny's ear and added pink I'm going to neaten up the edges I'm holding it between two coasters and this technique I learned from Fels by Philippa and it gives a really nice edge to the ears just hold them tightly between two coasters and fill down the sides. I'm attaching the ears and I don't want them too back of the head so I'm just attaching them over the head. So I'm not going to attach them at the back. So they have to be over the forehead because I don't want the brooch pin to be really thick from the back side. I'm just going to neaten this up. Add more shades where I want them. So this is the bunny's face done. As you can see, looks super cute. Now I'm going to show you how I colored in the the cat. So the shape of the face is slightly different and if you want to see that do leave a comment below and I'll try to do a tutorial on that as well. 
So I'm filling in the lines that the darker lines first. So I can define the markings. So I use the darkest orange I had and mixed it with brown and making the dark lines first. So this is going to be a ginger cat, a ginger tabby. I've got a picture of a cat in front of me. I'm not doing exactly the same as the picture, but I'm getting an idea of how the lines go on the face. So after I'm done with the darker lines, I'm going to go for a lighter color and then fill the rest of it with the light orange. Now I'm covering the nose with the same orange color. And really small shreds of orange on the cheeks. And I'm going to shape the ears the same way as I did the bunny ears, but the cat's ears are more pointy. So you just have to hold them into a triangle and keep felting them down. And add a bit of pink in the middle. In the same way, I'm going to meet in the edges in between two coasters. Here you can see more clearly and I wanted them to be a bit thicker so I didn't iron them with the, the hair straightener or you can but for this project I wanted them to be a bit thicker because when you iron them down they become really flat I'm attaching them to the head and uh, as usual I had made them bigger than I needed so I'm going to take the wool on the back side and I'm going to use the same wool plus more to attach the safety pin or the brooch pin if you've got one. Um, I've run out of the small, small ones so I'm using a safety pin instead. I'm going to really secure it in and neaten up the edges. As you can see it's really neat and secure. And the lines on the cat seemed too prominent, so I've just covered them a bit with shades of orange, so they're not really loud. So just made them a bit subtle. So these are the heads done. For this one, I've got a proper brooch pin, brooch back pin, and uh, it has holes in it, so you have to carefully go through the holes with your needle and be careful not to break it. And make the back of your brooch really neat. So all my brooch pins are done now and i'm happy with them and they're gonna go on it really soon so if you want to watch more tutorials on the cat faces do drop me a message below and i'll try to do them thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoyed and these were the fun projects and i hope you like them and do subscribe for more thank you very much